Hi, I'm Greg from RV Haulers. If you're interested in learning about what powder coating is, join me in this video. I'm going to talk to you about what powder coating is, its advantages, we're going to show you some of the preparation necessary for powder coating to work really well, and of course I'm going to give you a detailed tour of the powder coating process. Join me in this video. Preparation is key. What's mission critical in making sure that our powder coating looks and lasts is we have to make sure that the raw steel is sandblasted. We want to get it down to white, white steel. We want to make sure that all of this material that's left from the mills is removed. It's sometimes called mill scale and it's kind of the darker gray color. When it's removed, you can see that in the camera, it's white. And what we're going to do is take you in the yard here to show you the sandblasting process and the key preparation. Well, we've got Rob from NA Tech. Rob has been taking care of my sandblasting needs for many, many years. I'm never gonna let him retire. <laughs> Rob, Rob is in his Sunday best. <laughs> he said if he knew I was gonna videotape him, he would have wore something a little bit <laughs> snazzier, but what Rob has been doing is sandblasting all kinds of commercial and residential products, uh, projects for many years. I'm honored that he comes to our yard and sandblast right here. What's awesome about this is we're able to go right from sandblasting right into a controlled environment so we don't have the humidity from the air or we're able to pick beautiful weather like we have sunny today, low humidity, make sure it's not raining, but we're able to get this in under heat and make sure that the steel stays as white, white as possible and doesn't get any rust contamination. What we're gonna be following in this powder coating process is we've got a storage box that goes on the back of a truck. We call this a drawn box. It's a big storage box, about seven feet high, six feet wide, 16 inches deep, some doors. And we're also gonna be following along with the wheel chocks that you've already taken a look at. So Rob is gonna do his voodoo. He's gonna grab his magic wand and here we go. We're here, sandblasting's done. We've loaded it up on the trailer in just a few minutes after sandblasting. Beautiful sunny day. We're here at Rockyford Powder Coating. Let's get unloaded. Well, we watched Sarah bring our project here into Rocky for powder coating. You can see we've got our chocks prepared. We've got drawn box door, even the drawn box suspended. And we're gonna pull it into the powder coating prep area first. So swinging around, this is the area where we're gonna see the, we're gonna be applying a carbon black powder coat product. So we're gonna electrically charge the rack that you see and the carbon black is going to be attracted to it. What you see behind me is an extraction vent so all of the particles, excess particles, are going to be drawn up and out. Uh, we're all going to be wearing our PPE at the same time though so we're keeping safe. First, 
is Primer. Here's just a few of the colors that Sarah and Bob have available to them. What we're getting is Spec Carbon Black. Rockyford also does a lot of their own custom welding. So one of the things they're known for are their custom spindles. They sell these all over. You sell them on Amazon quite a bit, don't you? So there's some of the samples of what they build and it's all done right here. Pretty neat. Sarah's brought out the double knuckle basket. They've got quite an inventory that's being prepped to go out. And of course they carefully package and ship everything that's heading out as well. sandblasted so that does not have primer yet and that's what it looks like with the primer so after the priming and the, in our case the carbon black has been applied it's going to be heading into the oven so this goes up between 350 to 400 degrees Fahrenheit What's really nice here is at Rockyford Powder Coating, that booth is over 24 feet long. So a lot of even the bed builds that we produce can go in there and get a really great solid protection um, before we apply either our bed liner or some of our color match on the sides. Primer will get baked for 15 minutes. It's going to go up to about 400 degrees Fahrenheit. And we're doing a little bit of booth prep for the carbon block coming next. Part of, part of the outfit, <laughs> you, right. you got to leave it on. Well, this is Luke. He's been taking care of our powder coating today. Wanted to give him a big thanks for being our hand model and showing us his magic wand today. Thanks, Luke, for letting us videotape you. Well, have you enjoyed this video so far? <laughs> if you have, hey, do me a favor. If you can hit the thumbs up button, give me a like, that really helps. The other thing that I'm gonna invite you to do is if you have questions about this powder coating process that you're gonna see in this video, please post them down below in the comments section. <laughs> I try to get to every question that I can and that's your forum to also help us guide future videos. If there's other RV hauler, RV hauler videos you'd like to see in the future, Please subscribe to my channel and also hit the little bell. That makes sure that you're gonna get a notification when a new video pops up. Well, let's get back to powder coating. Enough of this stuff.
what's interesting is we've started at this end of the rack and we're working our way that way. But if you look, you can really see the electrical attraction. So we've been spraying those chocks in that side of the drum box door. But if you come back here, you can see that because of the ventilation, the power coating product is being drawn towards this end. And if you look really carefully, you can see that even as the particles, the powder went from that end towards this end, it was just in the air. It was attracted towards the drum box. You can see that there's black powder coat on here already. And as we go further along, there's less and less. Just shows you how much current is going through that plate and into this rack. Here's the big unveiling. This is the drum box and the chocks that are going on the 2022 Kenworth. 